So this is dried and it's not completely rigid. It has some flex to it, but it does feel pretty tough. Now, as you can see, I've grommeted four corners of it and that's so that I can strap it to this tree outside. I'll be backing it with this pad from the previous test and probably some more of those air packets. I'll of course be using this twine like I have before. And given that it's cold out, this is also a good excuse to try out my new gambeson that just arrived yesterday while I was actually editing the previous test video. So here is how I've decided to go about strapping it up. This tree under the previous owners of the property had storm damage and about half of it went at one point. There's a lot of dead wood right here and this tree is dormant. So if I do manage to puncture through, I don't think I'll be doing much damage to it. I have something for cutting damage, for thrusting damage, for hacking damage, for blunt damage, and for, well, another kind of blunt damage, really. So, what's the damage report? Well, the slicing did not make it all the way through the other side. The thrusts went right through, but they didn't go through very far, and it looks like they bedded out into here. I ended up hitting in the exact same spot with the axe twice, and so it went all the way through. But it didn't create any new damage where the padding was behind it. The blunt thrusts did impress onto the other side, but they didn't break. The blunt strikes did the same. They deformed it, but they didn't break it. The shield really didn't do much. Actually, I think one of these is a blunt strike from the shield's rim. The boss of the shield didn't rip or shred it or anything or like completely just bust through it and crack it in half. But that's because it's a little flexible. So all in all, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I think with a little more experimentation, I can make it even stronger and lighter and develop a process by which I can make these quickly and cost effectively. Have a good one.